All right, guys. Well, we've been on the trail all day today and we just got to a beautiful camp spot. And I had plans to actually share with you guys a different video uh, tonight, but unfortunately, uh, I've just real found out that I'm actually not supposed to talk about the particular product in that video until um, until September. So, uh, well, we're going to shelf that video and I'll share that with you guys at another time. But so tonight, I really don't have anything to post for you for a Thursday night. So what I'm going to do, since we are all kind of just getting set up in our camp, uh, we're going to do a little cooking video. And I've got uh, David over here with Amazing Life. And then, of course, I got my buddy Gary. And we've been traveling. Yeah, we've been doing a bunch of overlanding and uh, traveling through some different areas. So I've got videos coming on that as well, but I don't, I just don't have time. I can't edit all that together because that's a lot more um, kind of a cinematic style uh, videos of traveling and being at the lake and kayaking and all that stuff. So those will be coming, but I need more time to edit those. So I thought we'd just do a quick, I'll do kind of a quick run around, kind of show you where we're at. And, uh, but you guys, like I said, you'll see a little bit more of this area in future videos. I'll show you where we're at and then we'll share with you guys kind of what we're all cooking tonight. Here's where we're camped. I got Sasquatch right there, which is not where he's gonna stay. I'm actually gonna move kind of right in this area here just for tonight. But uh, we got this beautiful lake out here for us to kind of sit at. And then there is a hiking trail, which we're actually going to hike tomorrow. And that's gonna be another video coming up. We're gonna take the Aurora kayak and we're gonna hike up that trail. And there's a beautiful mountain lake up at the top. But like I said earlier, we got Gary set up with, uh, and he, you've seen this already actually, he's got the gazelle tent, uh, still using that. And then of course, like I said, we've got uh, David with Amazing Life and he's setting up over here. Uh, he's got a little, that's a M111 trailer? M416. Uh, M416 trailer. He's got the rooftop tent. Uh, he's got a diesel Jeep, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, anyways, so he's getting all set up for tonight, and uh, he's going to have burgers. Gary's going to have hot dogs. Me and Daisy don't know what we're having yet. I've got to figure that out. All right, guys. So tonight we're doing something different than our normal Pendleton. Uh, it's been a hot, dusty day on the trail, so cold beer is good. But we're not just doing a cold beer. We're doing red beers tonight. Uh, I like these. They're kind of a fun little uh, change in pace, but basically... Uh, I use about 65% beer, you know, poured into glass, some type of tomato juice. I've got some V8 Bloody Mary mix, but you can use regular V8 juice or regular tomato juice or another one that's good is the spicy V8 is good. And then I like to throw a little seasoning inside there. Now I'm using the chipotle roasted garlic on this, but I usually like to actually use the McCormick spicy seasoning. That's the one I like the best, but put it together makes for a, a different change in pace. David over here at Amazing Life thought it sounded disgusting and he tried it. And how'd you like it? It was actually really good. I was shocked. I, I never liked that stuff. That was good. So there you go. So if you guys want to try something different when you're at camp. So you guys might be noticing that we have a ton of smoke. You can just barely see the sun coming through all the smoke and it's just very smoky. It's kind of been like this our whole trip, uh, this time in the evening. We're not in any type of um, trouble where we're at or concerned that there's fires in our area, but there are fires in Oregon. You know, it's definitely causing us to have some very, very smoky skies in the evenings. But we've been fairly lucky that it usually blows out in the evening. And uh, for the most part of the day, it's not been too bad. But it just seems like that from about 4 to about 8 o'clock, we get pretty socked in. All right, guys, so as I said, we were doing some filming today. You can see we got cameras out, drone out, and uh, everything is just covered in dust in here. And a lot of people are like, why do you have your windows open? And it's because when we're filming and doing YouTube videos, a lot of times we have the windows open because we're hanging cameras out the windows, doing things, trying to get shots. We're in and out of the vehicles all the time, setting up cameras, and dust just gets sucked into the vehicles all the time. So David's doing some filming today too. You can see he's got his stuff out, but kind of the same gig. Maybe not quite as bad as the van, but you can see his dash is all covered in dust and everything. And again, it's from just kind of having windows down, putting cameras outside to get those cool angles for you guys. All right, so this is what I decided on dinner tonight. We've got some chicken. We have some chipotle 
organic smoky chipotle rice and then i'm just going to go even add a little bit more chipotle lime simmer sauce to that and that should be good and then here is daisy's food which is just some chicken i'll cook it first without seasoning and uh, cut it up for her and that will be her dinner tonight and then i'll start cooking my dinner so david what happened to your hamburger never leave ground beef unattended when there's a daisy around <laughs> right daisy so it's she, okay he had it sitting there where you can see that one that's the same one i just kept <laughs> i kept some of it okay it's just been in her mouth <laughs> All right, well, we got Daisy's food going. I do cook hers separately, like I said, just so that there's no seasoning or anything on there. I also have an egg going. Uh, I haven't fed Daisy regular dog food or Wheeler regular dog food since they're one years old. They've had nothing but real meat their entire life, almost their entire lives. Okay, so Daisy's dinner is all done. What I usually do after it's done cooking <clears throat> is I just add some water and then I let it sit just for a minute so it can cool off and it's not too hot for her. Okay, so last minute decision, I decided I'm going to go ahead and add some broccoli because I have it. And I got the chicken going. This is my chicken for me, and I cut it up really small. And then I added, again, some of this chipotle seasoning uh, to it, since this is a chipotle dish. How's your dinner, Daisy? It's all right. Don't talk with your mouth full. All right, so I've got the broccoli on. I put the chicken just off to the side so it can stay warm. Uh, the main cooking area is right in the center of the pan, so the broccoli will cook now. I like my broccoli to be al dente, so a little bit of crunch still in it. And uh, so we'll just kind of get it to that point, and then we'll add the, the rice and the rest of the sauce. Still really smoky. I was kind of hoping by this time we'd start clearing out a little bit, but yeah, it's still very smoky out tonight. Lake looks beautiful though. Still a beautiful place to be. I almost forgot an extremely important ingredient that I think would have made or broke this meal and that is some thinly sliced serrano peppers. Uh, yeah, I would have been really bummed if I would have forgot to put those in. So we're gonna put those next. The, the uh, I've got the broccoli all cooked. As you can see it's got a nice little uh, blackening to it. I think that brings out a lot of nice flavor and uh, it's cooked al dente, so we're gonna go ahead and saute up those uh, peppers real quick and uh, move on. All right, so whenever I'm cooking like these microwave ready rice meals and I'm using a pot like this, a cast iron skillet or my you know, plow disc, <clears throat> I'll add the rice and then I'll take the bag and I'll fill it just a little less halfway with water and add it to the dish and then that way it will help uh, the rice reheat because that's all you're really trying to do. The rice is already cooked. So you're just trying to reheat it. <clears throat> in this case, I also added that uh, chipotle lime sauce. So I've got it in there and I'll just let everything kind of heat and whatever excess water, I'll just let that kind of cook off and let the sauce thicken. All right, guys, well, we've got our food plated. I added a little bit of avocado on the side. I think that will go well with it, but it looks really good and I can't wait to get into it. All right, well, got everything here. Got my red beer, got my dinner. We're good to go. Again, still very smoky out here, uh, beautiful lake, still a beautiful place to be. It's gonna be a great place to enjoy my dinner tomorrow. With, like I said, we've got more adventures, more things we're gonna film. So be looking forward to, like I said, some more videos coming on the channel, more of the typical videos that you guys are used to. So those will be coming. These vlogs don't uh, stop me from getting those done. They just kind of fill the gaps when it takes me some time to get the other ones out. So. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please do give it a like. If you guys have any comments or questions, you leave those down below and we'll catch you guys again outside.